Perfect. My name is Rafi Media Villa from Criticologos.com. Frank, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about the movie. The last time we spoke, I, I, you remember, you remember, I remember. I, I told you why you keep playing bad guys. What is it with those roles? But I, I want to I wanna start in this one. This one to me seemed to hit differently. Did it hit you differently, this role? Yes, it did hit me differently because he wasn't an, uh, uh, an obvious bad guy. He was a guy in a bad situation. Um, and he's a guy of a certain, you know, mental aptitude. Uh, he, he, he struggled. It's a guy who struggled his whole life. And um, I, I don't think he thinks he's a bad guy. I think he's just trying to get himself out of a, a really bad situation. I, I think a lot of people, um, we, that you say yourself, that we, we constantly see ourselves in a, in a tough situation. May, we may relate to your character. Um, what can you spe- What do you want people to take away from the story, from your character specifically, and what is happening? Because to me, it's so personal. Yeah, I mean, what I would like them to take away is, is and the reason why it's in the movie is, you know, the genesis of these two, where they came from and, and how damaged and abused they were, um, specifically her, who, who was also sexually abused, you know, by, by the person who's supposed to pr- protect her, her father, and, 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 what, that, and that, what that whole world creates. Um, and, and, and that we were victims like these kids of, of serious, serious abuse. And if, uh, if it's not taken care of properly, uh, it doesn't get better. You don't get better. Uh, you, you've, got to make, you've got to make an effort to be better. I want to talk about Anna and, and the director and writer. She, this this spread seems so personal to her. And I wonder if you, when you came into the project, you saw her character, did you give her any pointers of, or any suggestion? Can I do this? Can I do that? Or did you just follow the script? No, we, we talked a lot. She was very, Dennis was very important to her because she did not want Dennis to be uh, a, a mustache twirling bad guy. Or, or a manipulative, calculated guy. She wanted Dennis to be uncertain, and 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 you know both parts good, both almost like Dennis was almost childlike, um, especially when he was dealing with Sally. Like he he almost was like a little boy. Like he hasn't grown from that from that kid. He's stunted, um, and 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 Anna was very clear about that. And I I followed uh, you know what she what she wanted. I thought she was right about it. I, the cast is great. Obviously, Morgan Freeman. We got to work with Cameron again, and you just started yourself, Sally, Juliet. Yep. But to me, the one that stood out was uh, Ala, Ala uh, Pinley, as um, uh, obviously Layla. Yeah. My God. Yeah. She just that girl. Yeah. I don't even know what that age she is, but she just blew it out of the park. Did you had a chance to sit with her and talk to her? How impressed were you with with her work? Did you give her any pointers? Uh, I didn't. I didn't have to give her any pointers. I just stayed out of her way. But I did. You know, I worked with her a little bit. But she was a very composed, professional young lady, and she's dealing with very heavy subject matter. Um, you know, uh, I mean, she's shooting, killing people. Even uh, you know, aside from what she's got to put in her head about sex trafficking and and you know what she's just trying to escape. She was amazing, and she is. She is the standout. I think she does kind of drive the movie uh you know she's an amazing young woman yeah there was a specific scene that she was crying and i just started crying myself when i yeah when i was like this this is tough for her yeah. obviously again the, the cast is great Cameron, you get to work with cameron again you know that said obviously when you get to work with people you already worked before you just kept catch up with each other but working with morgan freeman the voice of god in my in my opinion yeah the, <laughs> Did, 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 hey, did you get a chance to, to, take, to, to talk to him and tell me, hey, when can I get more, more, more roles like you do? I, I, I think I can use my voice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you, you, when you're around Morgan Freeman, you, you tend not to be yourself. You tend to kind of be a little bit like a, a little kid. Uh, yeah. Because when he does talk, you're like, wait a minute, is he really God? <laughs> so and I had worked with I have we have done a film we were Morgan and I were supposed to do a film together uh a big film uh, and I was really excited about that so so just kind of being around him in, on this thing was was a treat um I do hope to get to work with him again and and, and where it's him and I he's I mean I know he's a great guy and he has worked in Puerto Rico a bunch of movies and, yeah. and everybody has worked with him have told me that he's just 
a piece of you know he's just great he's just he's god like you just he's yourself. god yeah um i i hope before i leave you and i i, I i'm doing this because i i'm hopefully you tell me that you're gonna do you're gonna do other movies that you're not a bad guy do you have any other projects coming up that you can talk about obviously like you're not playing a bad guy or, or yeah you play the, no yeah. i do i do i have a movie coming out called lamborghini where i play ferruccio lamborghini the the uh the creator and inventor of the lamborghini <laughs> so that's that, yeah, that's coming out. Uh, it's going to the Rome Film Festival in October, but uh, it's me and Gabriel Byrne and Mira Sorvino plays my wife. Um, and Bobby Moresco, who wrote Crash and Million Dollar Baby, wrote and directed it. So it's definitely, I'm, I'm not a bad guy and I'm not killing anybody. <laughs> so, uh, but but yeah, you know, look, a lot of the movies I do, uh, even if I'm not a bad guy, I'm, I'm doing some bad things. So it's just kind of what the world I'm in. I, and and I and obviously if you can give me something. Your son is doing something. Is that a project, right? Uh, you're gonna be in this, on, or you're just just mentoring him? No, it's done. Uh, it's called Man's Son. It's done. He's just about done with the edit, and it's myself and and my friend Jamie King, uh, and it is a horror thriller, psychological thriller about uh, bringing back Charles Manson. It's really ah. cool. Yeah, and I'm really proud of him. And I think we have something, I think we have something special. Hopefully we can talk about that in, in, in the future because I'm a huge fan of, of horror. Great. Thank you, Frank, again, to take a little bit of time to talk about the movie and to take a little bit of time to talk with me. It was a pleasure to talk to you again. Always. Since we speak on the gateway. That's what, that's what the movie that I was, that I was thinking of. Yes. We'll talk soon. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Okay.